This is a review of the Boss BV9358B Double Den and Radio. I purchased this off of Amazon for about 90 bucks. I have it installed in a 2006 Hyundai Santa Fe. Once you go in the settings, get it all installed, you have the option to have the display turned on so it shows the time all the time. That's what's on here now. Okay, if you go to the left-hand side, you'll see the eject, the home button, this button will allow you to scroll through functions without having to use the touch screen. There's an SD card here, USB port, and there's an aux port here. Of course, this button is the on button and the volume button. It also works as the mute button. When it boots up, as you saw, it goes to the boss screen and it defaults to the last function that you had it on previously before you turned it off. Okay, a AM FM, it has 18 AM or 18 FM presets and six AM presets. Okay, so you have the option to program uh, all your stations or out of state stations in anything that you like. Okay, the arrow on the bottom, you go to the arrow on the bottom, pulls up a menu. There are settings, lighting, home, and EQ on the bottom. If you don't touch it, it automatically goes down after a few seconds. So let's go to home. Okay, when you go to home, there's radio, disc, hands free, streaming, aux in tab over there's SD USB settings and camera I do not have a camera installed in this car okay so we go back disc disc is CD player and DVD player in order to play the DVD you are supposed to have the radio tied into the parking brake and the DVD will not release uh, will not play until the parking brake is released that's a safety function. It also comes with a very big remote that has a bunch of functions on it to control the radio. I do not recommend that you try to use the remote while you are driving because there's it's just way too big and there's far too many functions on the radio um, in order to, to do that. So we go back to the radio. Streaming, I can't do because I'm doing this right now settings it's on screen display wallpaper there's only three wallpapers installed on this system and it does not allow you to install wallpaper so if you want wallpaper uh, a system where you can install wallpaper you need to look for that this one does not allow you to do it so don't purchase it and complain that you can't install wallpaper on it panel adjustments radio area which is usa time setting you go down below steering wheel controls if you have those beep standby version and re restore default settings the second one is for the dvd which runs you through a couple of functions for the dvd player next one speakers equalizer subwoofer loudness which gets up pretty loud i have a couple of speakers busted i'll turn it on but i can't turn it up loud because i have a couple of speakers that need to be replaced in here uh f loudness frequency cutoff you can change this is dvd aspect ratio default is 16 by 9 but you can change it to 4 by 3 if you like and lastly bluetooth which uh i haven't had any problems every time i turn this thing on it automatically connects to my phone. So when you go to EQ, I listen to jazz. So I have it set on a pretty much so I can hear the highs and everything and the lows to my taste. It gives you back. It gives you that. You have uh, surround different choices you can make for your surround setting, and you can also adjust it to however you want it inside the vehicle we go back to home streaming i cannot do hands free works great but hands free you go there it gives you the option to download your contacts and your phone book into the phone it also allows you to auto answer so you don't never have to touch anything and the microphone is built into the unit so you don't have to have an external mic connected up somewhere else in order to talk on this thing all in all it's a really good unit touch screen works well 
I mean, it, it depends on, it's going to depend on your hands. You know, all touch screens depend on your hands. How much oil is in your skin, I believe. That's what it depends on. So sometimes it may not touch well, other times it will. And you can also get a, uh, a the little pointer thingy that you use on tablets. That works extremely well on here. The first thing you have to do though, what you really need to do is go in and calibrate the screen. Because I did not and it was all kind of funky and I went and calibrated the screen and it works great. This the DVD player and as you can see it's crystal clear works good works really good touch and skip chapters skip a chapter and now it's going into the movie stop there you go And it works great. I mean, it works great. The only issue I've had so far, it's reset itself twice. I put stations in, set the clock, and it reset itself. Strangely enough, though, it kept my phone, which is kind of odd. But it just cleared the stations and it cleared the clock. But, I mean, other than that, I have no complaints. It sounds surprisingly good for 90 bucks really really surprise uh sounds good i mean it probably sound better if you took the time to pair it correctly with everything but for 90 dollars, if you have a second car that you want to use it in this is the perfect system for your vehicle in my opinion anyway all right this is my review hope you like it see ya